Hi guys, today I'd like to show you how you can take the data from our iPhone app Beam and upload it into the free version of Tableau in order to create gaze plots and heat maps. So this assumes that you're already familiar with our Beam app for iOS. Uh, it basically replaces many expensive eye trackers with your iPhone or your iPad and yields quite similar results. Um, if you're not familiar, I'll drop a link in the description below. So this video also assumes that you have downloaded Beam app uh, for free on the Apple App Store and have purchased access to the API. Uh, let's see, so getting started with Tableau, this free version uh, of Tableau is quite easy to download. Uh, it can be found by a simple Tableau public Google search. Um, or again, I'll put a description or a link in the description below. So once you have Tableau open, uh, you can simply click and drag the data into Tableau and the data should appear. Now there are only a few measures given uh, working from left to right. You have the, you know, let me bring it clear. You have the timestamps, the X data, the Y data of the gaze point on the screen. Um, as well as the tracking confidence. Um, we will not be needing the confidence score for this, so let's go ahead and hide it. Simple as that. And let's rename the headers. So first up, uh, I'd like to create a gaze plot. Uh, so I'll navigate to the worksheet in the lower left and rename it. And then I want to click and drag the data. Uh, so I want to move X to columns and Y to rows. And then I want to change the sum, which is here, to dimension for each one. Now I can see the data start to show up below. I'd like to change the appearance of the circles um, from automatic to circle, uh, which is basically going to fill them in. I just think it looks a little bit better. Uh, I'd also like to add some transparency to make the background image a little bit more visible. So to do that, I go to color, opacity, and just slide that to my liking. We also want to click and drag the timestamp to the page section. And change the sum to dimension. You'll notice that a new card has appeared on the right hand side. Now, which we can use to uh, slide through the data output. And you can see our data starting to appear as we move down the timestamp. Now we can see that the bubble is going from bottom upwards, which means our Y data is inverted. Uh, to fix this, we want to go back to the data sheet. Go to the Y column and create a calculated field. So we'll just name this Y2. It's very simple. You're basically just putting in a, um, a little bit of math. To invert it, we just multiply it by negative one and press OK. And then we want to switch out the Y with the Y2. Again, changing from sum to dimension, and remove the old Y. So let's try that again. Let's see how the data looks running through it. Yeah, here we can see it moving in a downwards fashion, left to right, which was me reading that section. Good. 
I'd also like to keep the history of the gaze path, uh, which will help me analyze the session as a whole. Uh, to do this, we look to the animations card on the right uh, and select the Show History checkbox, then the drop down. Then I want to select the mark to sh Marks to Show History for All, move Show to Both. Not, you can't really see it here, but it's this B. And remove the fade. Terrific. Now trying that again. You can see that with a few exceptions, it's a relatively clean flow of me reading over the text. So now might be a good time to clean up the data uh, and remove the data points before and after the session that I'd like to keep. To do that, I need to add a filter. So click and drag the timestamp tile to the filter section. Go ahead and click next. And here I can limit the session, starting point and ending point. Um, so to do this in a very clean way, what we can do is move this sliding bar to the ideal starting point, which for my case is about there. And I can notice these numbers here. So I'll go back to the filters. And I can look closely and see that the last four digits are 1531. Depending on how long your session is, <clears throat> these numbers might change. This session was quite short, so I, I don't need to pay attention to the whole string. Um, so let's see. 1531.17947. What I'm doing here is just marking the start time. And you can see that big line that was showing there uh, deleted. So applied is done, we'll press OK. And then I want to do the same thing for the other side, the end of the session. So to do that, I just want to select the, the end of my session, which is approximately, looks like there, yeah, give or take, it's about there. And edit the filter once more. And update it with these numbers. So we have 564.9033. Select apply. And run through the data once again just to make sure everything looks pretty clean. Yeah, looks good to me. Something that you will notice is this big uh, movement downwards. Chances are whenever you see this, this represents a blink. So halfway through reading the text, uh, I must have blinked. To remove the outliers if you wanted to, simply click on the data point and press exclude. So we'll just get rid of these four. And that should give us a little bit more of a smoother experience as we go through. Much better. Now we have our gaze plot, but this is quite useless without uh, a background photo. Uh, so to add one, we'll select Maps, Background Images, go to Export, Add Image, Browse, and I should be able to find my image here close by. There we go. Great. So the next thing to notice is on the left hand side, we can see X field and Y field. Uh, this is basically setting the parameters of where you want your background to appear. 
So for the x, which runs along the bottom, we're entering here the left parameter of where you want the image to start. Now, I can assume that uh, the image is about here or so, based on where the gaze plots were uh, starting. So the left, I'm looking at 450 here, so my image will start right at about there. And on the right, I'm looking at 1500. For the bottom, and I'll admit I've done a little bit of tweaking uh, prior to this, so I know these exact numbers. 975, and for the top, we have a negative 100. So we'll apply that, and we can see the background image uh, appear behind it. And this is our completed gaze plot. Uh, from here, it's just a matter of aesthetics, such as bubble size, which you can control here. Um, color, labels, if you wanted to add it, uh, and spend some time to make it as presentably, to make it as presentable as you'd like. Now, let's say we wanted to create a heat map. Uh, all that you would need to do is, well, let's first make a, a duplicate of this. Uh, I'll go ahead and rename it. So in the mark section, we need to set the circle to density and adjust the color. Okay. And also set the dimension uh, within the timestamp uh, under pages section from dimension to count you can see it just here there you go of course you can change the size of these the transparency just depending on your setup uh, as well as the intensity here we are just depending on how you want to display uh, your findings so to save or download in the free version, uh, you have to save it to Tableau Public. Um, of course, you've got the, uh, the option to set it to private or viewable only uh, for those that have a link. So that concludes our walkthrough. Uh, if you have any questions about anything we covered or would like to get started, feel free to contact me at contacts at iWare.tech. Thanks, guys.